Alright, what is up you guys? Well, in this video it's just a little talk of... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the motor's back. So let's roll the uh, intro of this video. He's pounding down, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to do what they say can be done? Oh, we've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Alrighty, so as you guys know, I was going to put a 5 horse flathead Briggs Stratton in this mini bike. Yeah, that was kind of the plan. Um, I got pretty far on it, as you guys seen in the previous video of me, you know, painting up the motor and explaining we're going to put a 5 horse in this thing. Well, then it just came down to let's just dive into this motor, see what's actually wrong and go from there. Well, this is kind of what I found in the motor. Well, I shouldn't say really found inside the motor, which I found, you know, like gasket, you know, material. Well, this is the intake gasket that, you know, runs right in here, that black tube, and that connects to the head that was blown so and you can see some of my fuel and stuff was you know coming down from it and stuff so I sealed it up made some homemade gaskets and I kinda doubled it up so it's a lot thicker instead of this like paper material like that's really super thin so the one that's on here right now is pretty thick and I put everything back together and it fired right up I had to adjust the carburetor because it was like way out of whack and stuff. And uh, yeah, threw the chain back on it and took it out for its little uh, test run up and down the street. Um, it was a little chilly. Um, the roads were a little wet, so this thing kind of got loose on me. You know, it kind of had a few leaves in the road and it kind of made the back end jerk out and stuff. It was totally scary. But it runs fine now. It's it's back the mini bike is back and uh, yeah just now I just gotta use some glass cleaner and really clean this thing up because it's just wet dirty mud flinged all over it but for the most part it's still pretty clean and uh, I'm running the stock carburetor on it right now I'm running actually the stock carburetor that came from gopowersports.com this carburetor works fine so the ones that do come in the kits they work fine just be sure with this gasket it seals fine and if it starts having that problem it's more than likely that gasket because this has an o-ring which will seal just fine so the pulse pump and all that other jazz that I was going to do to this was never the problem the gas tank was never the problem and it was just that little gasket so I have a brand new genuine carburetor I might, you know, resell or something. But, yeah, everything is back up in working condition. Um, if I would try to start it up, but the jack stands are a little scary. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is probably a really quick and short video. But I just wanted to tell you guys, the mini bike is back. The 212 Predator, pretty much bulletproof Predator. 14 horse predator is back so thank you guys so much for watching and uh yeah can't wait until spring now I did buy another can to touch up that spot and this spot down here and that back spot down behind the oil catch can so this thing will be touched up before spring so it's ready to rip and ready to shine 
and sparkle. So, thank you guys so much for watching.